ladies, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> and welcome if you're new here. My name is Armani. I have sister locks and I'm about to show you all how I self retighten my sister locks. So a little background about me and my hair. I have had my sister locks going on 11 years now and I have been self retightening my hair for about seven to six years on my own now. So I will be showing you all the tool that I use and the technique that I use and the pattern that I use. So just as preface, I use the sister lock type four pattern. So that means that there are four entryways into the hair and this will all make sense as I give you visuals. If you just continue to watch, stay tuned for the tutorial. Okay, so the tool that I use looks like this. It's basically a needle with a blunted end and the top part is kind of cinched in because it catches your lock when you pull it through. The reason why I like this one is because it's way easier for me to maneuver when I'm doing my own hair. It's hard to keep up with so I used to have a couple I've lost a bunch but I get a bag like this with all my sister locking goodies for my retightening days and I just make sure that I keep it in here. So I'm gonna go put that in here now so I don't lose it. So if I can find the link for where I purchased the tool, um, I'll definitely go ahead and put that in the description box below, okay? So check for that. Um, and also they have different sizes. So I'll tell you which size to get for me since if you have sister locks and I have 700 to 800 locks on my head, get the smallest size and then you can keep going up you'll see like the diameter of the thickness of the needle in the etsy choices but i would go with the smaller one but also go up if your locks are bigger than mine so for the sake of this video i have a really big size so for comparison this is what it looks like but i'm going to use this one to show you how i loop my hair into it so what i'll do is i will grab a lock the one that i'm working on all right and I will go ahead and kind of wrap it around my finger like this so that it creates a loop, it's a blunted end that's easier to go through the lock tool. And then I'll pull it through and then pull it up this way. I'll show you again, but I will show you how to do it on the smaller one. Slowly first, get your tool ready. You wrap your wrap it around your finger kind of like this to get it to loop somewhere you can remove your finger kind of squish it up close and then you get the lock and you push it through just like that and then you pull it through and then i like to stop it about halfway or just under halfway so that i'm not pulling a lot of my lock through um, whenever I do a, a rotation, for example, because that just takes a lot of time if you're going from the bottom, pull it through and out. And then also if you only have this much leave out, it's easy for it to just fall out and then you're gonna have to pull it through again. But yep, that's how I put the lock into the tool. Now I'm gonna show you how I section off my hair whenever I do do self retightenings. So for me, I make sure that I have two hair ties at all times. Um, some people like to use clips because in the beginning you might get the locks attached and if you do just relax and don't keep pulling it through just unravel it like a knot but in order to section your hair off what I usually do is I just really split it straight down the middle or as close to down the middle as possible um, and then I just put it up into two sections um like so and i push it as far up to the top as possible because i prefer to start from the nape of my neck and work my way forward okay so once you have two really interestingly placed ponytails i don't do it tight in the beginning because i don't like to pull my lock through the hair tie and then cause a lot of unnecessary tension especially on my edges tighten as you go so that it stays out of your face but for me i don't ever have to um wrap it around too much so i only do one so this is what it looks like and what i'll do is i will start from either side 
and I will just pull from the scalp, but lightly, and pull that lock out. And then I will start with that one lock. And then I'll continue to do that. And I always work from one side and then keep going to the exterior. So the interior of one side out. So I'll go innermost and then I'll get what feels like the same line, the same row, and then I'll pull that down until I'm done with the row like so. And then I'll move up one row and sometimes I will even do two and then work over one, up one, so that I'm still in the same rows. Over one, up one, over one, up one. And that's just so that you refrain from getting your hair tangled. And I find that that helps me. That's probably one reason why I don't run into many issues of getting my locks tangled, but definitely consider that. And if you are somebody who's just beginning, like I was saying before, in a spot like this, say you were working on this lock and you felt like the top was getting in your way or the side was, get those steel clips and clip the hair that way so that the root of the next locks near you aren't going to be in your way. It's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, and then now I'm gonna show you the actual method and rotation that I use. Just for the purpose of this video, I left a nice row of locks that I didn't finish, but the rest of my hair is already retightened. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I do. So first, grab your tool. Okay, so as you can see, there's some new growth right here. And I'm going from the base up. So all that right there, that is new growth. And when you're retightening so that you don't have gaps in your locks, which will lead to breakage, um, make sure that with every rotation you're pushing the tool as far up as it'll go so that there won't be gaps in your locks so just like that always and my rotation depending on how the camera flips it is i'm gonna do it from i'm gonna do it in direction so think of a compass for example um so north is up south is down East is right, west is left. So my rotation, I usually start, well, I always start going east. So east is on the right side of my head. And when I do that, I go in from the right and you go straight across and then you're finishing on the west or the left. And then you go down, so the bottom, so south and north and then you go from the left which is west all the way straight across to the east and then you finish north then down all the way down to the south for me personally i am a visual learner so i went ahead and made this diagram for those who might benefit from it so what you see are corresponding numbers to directions each rotation and this is from start to finish is from one two three four so you start from one and then you end it four and that is one rotation when you enter from one your hook should be leaving at three if you're starting at two it should be leaving at four starting from three you finish at one and then your last entry point at the end of the rotation from four should end at two so i'm going to show you what that looks like so i'm putting the lock in there really fast as you see make sure that it's not too close to the root the end point but good enough that you're not pulling an excess amount grab it so I am going, first I'm gonna show you what it looks like in terms of direction, and then I'll show you with my head going down. So I'm going in from the east, coming out 
on the west. Then I'm going from the back, south, pulling straight through, and then that's ending on the north. And then I'm going from the west, and then finishing to the east. And then going in from the north and pulling back, that's the south. Now, once more, but closer up. Right and left, bottom and top, left and right, top and bottom, right to left, down to up, left to right, top to back or bottom, all right? And that's one rotation if you do it. So now say for example, it's getting too tight and the rotation needs to end, but you're, you're up, you're going up and you only have enough hair for just one more pass through. What I always do is I never end going from the bottom up, but you can always end um say from the left or the right or pull back that's just so that it looks stylistically a way that it's not just like going upward but just keep practicing if it gets caught a little bit and it's just a little bit of hair at the root it's okay to just pop it out um and you'll be okay and now i'm gonna show you <laughs> from this goofy angle but from behind because when i'm facing behind that'll show you the actual direction that i'm talking about so get your tool loop pull it through now i'm going in from the right ending this way then i'm going from the bottom and the bottom is the side that's closest to the nape of your neck Pulling it up through, ending closest to the top, which is the part that's closest to your forehead. And then I'm going in from the left and I'm ending that way to the right. And then I'm from the top down, ending towards the direction of the nape of your neck. Right, up, left, down. I'll show you one more from the front, the very front most one. Also, I have a widow's peak, so for front locks, I tend to wrap the excess hair around my um, locks, so the baby hairs, just so that they can kind of be incorporated into the situation that's going on. I mean, it's a style thing. I They'll come out after my hair loosens up a little bit, but I do want the formation to be in there. So if I just put it through, I'm starting from the right. And then bottom, and then the left, and then the top. And there she is. That's what you will look like for the most part when you have done your retightening. Yep. Okay, so I hope that was really helpful. That's just how I personally do my hair. There are other ways to do it, I'm sure. And um, I'm not a consultant, like I said, but I did learn from a consultant. You could just keep on trying if you're doing it. My biggest tip is to go slow in the beginning, go very slow, because what you don't wanna do is ruin your grid by interlocking two or more locks into one and not knowing how to unravel it and get it out. And just feel, just practice feeling what each section of hair is like and you'll get faster with time. But like I said, go slow and probably start from the outer sides that you can actually see um, if you're looking straight on in a mirror because that's a really good way to make sure that you're doing it correctly. 
Okay, well, thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, comment down below other things that you want me to do on my channel and subscribe if you want to see more of my face. <laughs> but um, as always, I hope you have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. Bye.